Hello guys, my name is Hussain Mahiri and today we are going to see how we can integrate push notification in our applications. Before taking this any further, we need to see push notification use case. Generally, push notifications are used for promoting new products, maybe for our social media needs, or even after a successful operation. But push notifications have many, many technologies. And we end up with web push protocol. And when we talk about web push protocol, we're certainly going to talk about service workers. So service workers are simply a JavaScript file that act as a proxy between our front end and the rest of the world. They are used for many things, such as offline experiences, intercepting network requests, therefore they are proxies, and also for providing some background sync APIs, and of course, for push notifications. And service workers are a new features, so checking browser support is highly essential. To begin with, Google Chrome is already shipped with the service worker capabilities and also Mozilla, Opera and Microsoft Edge is still in development where we found Safari way behind the race. And when we talk about push notification, to see how our notification we're going to be rendered is highly critical. So, because we are sending notification directly to the browser, in the desktop, things will look like so. In mobile, things will look like this. If you saw things, they are look exactly like any native notifications. So, no need to any APK or any native applications. All we need is a browser. So now, let's talk about some code. Like I said, we need to do some browser capability checking because service worker are not available everywhere. First of all, we need to check class to register our service worker file. We need to use or to check if the service worker is present in the navigator object. Then, if so, we're going to register by calling the register function and give it the name of our service worker file. Then, we're simply going to log a hello there message plus the service worker object. If you see things in a deeper way, you see that we are, going, we are using what we call the promise APIs. And now, after successfully registering the service worker file, we're going simply to return a hello there. By now, we can add the push notification support. In order to have a greater and a deeper way over how we can send push notification directly to our desktop or mobile device, I have created this simple GitHub repo project which is going to represent how we can do just that. In here, I will use IO in order to push my registration ID. And the registration ID is a unique ID per device, which is going to be generated using the Google Cloud messaging system. Like I explained before in the slides, I'm simply here going to register the service worker file. And after doing so, I'm simply going to prompt a hello there message. Now, let's take a look over the service worker file. In here, my service worker file is going to have this console.log I am service worker. Then I'm simply going to listen to push notification event. And like I explained before, service worker are event-based functionalities. So any functionality of the service worker is going to be represented in an event. And for push notification, the event name is push. And when I'm going to receive any kind of events, I'm simply going to prompt or to log a push message plus the push message event. Then for any push notification, we have a title and we have a body and of course we have an icon. Then in order to show it, I'm simply going to use the event object and call the wait until. And the wait until in here, we're going to postpone my execution until I show the message. And using the self, which is going to be a my service work registration file, then registration, then I will call the show notification, which is going to be responsible of showing my notification. I'm passing it a title, it's going to be pushed, a message as a body, an icon from my local server, and a tag. 
Now, let's move to the index.html file and uncomment this portion of code. Such code is going to be responsible of showing my authorization prompt. And simply, we are going to use the registration or the object again and call and use the push manager. And like we all know, in push notification, we have a publisher, which is going to be, in this case, my server, and a subscriber, which is going to be my client. Then I'm going to call the subscribe and pass in an object, which is going to be the user visible only with a valid true. Such thing is going to be needed for the current implementation in order to show the authorization prompt. When I got my authorization, I'm simply going to log the endpoint or the registration ID I mentioned before. Then I'm simply going to emit my registration ID directly to my server in order to be registered. Now, let's see how my application we're going to behave after doing this modification. Now, we do have the authorization request. After doing so, I'm going to click authorize. Then I'm going to have my push notification message. Now, let's see how we can have such thing over a mobile device. In my mobile device, I have the same and the exact rendering. So the application is asking me now if I want to authorize push notification in my application. After allowing it, I'm simply going to have a push notification message. And if you notice, we have the exact and the same rendering that we have from any API or any native application. Now, back into the slide. Push notification over a progressive web application or over my application won't be possible unless I add the manifest.json file. And the manifest.json file is simply a metadata file that's going to have my most needed metadata information in order to run my application. And here, I'm simply going to give it a name, which is going to be my application name, and I'm going to pass in it my GCM sender ID, which is going to be my project ID, or the project that I, I have created in the past over the Google Cloud Messaging System. And such file is going to have many, many feeds, from name to short names to icons, and more and more. Now, as a summary, the main takeaway here is we learned how we can add service worker and we managed to show push notification and render them properly over devices and how we can programmatically sending push notification to our client. Thank you for listening and wish to talk to you soon.